Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mitten here. Today we're going to continue our journey for Path of Evil. Now if you recall from our last episode, uh, we just got a uh, mission from our master to go to Neverwinter Academy to go pick up some supplies. We're there right now, we're ready to get inside and find out what the heck they got in store for us there. We don't anticipate problems, that doesn't mean I'm going to be stupid and not have my spells at the ready. I'm not going to pre-buff, because I think that would be silly, but I will go in cautiously. Now we have not only a piece of paper that has the list of stuff that we need to get, but also another piece of paper that gives us admittance, which is why I feel confident that we can just walk through the front door. So let's see what they say. There we are. We have a guard and guards. We'll talk to them real quick. What is it, citizen? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's head inside to the academy. Right, now we were supposed to meet somebody here, if I remember right. Let's see if we can find this person. There we are in the academy. Looks like we got some iron golems to keep everybody in check. There's someone at the door to greet us. Welcome to the Neverwinter Academy. Our most famous graduates have saved the city itself. The mage hemlock of the beggar's nest has sent us. We are here to trade. Very well then. This hemlock has given you admittance papers then. Right here. Everything looks to be in order then. Welcome to the academy. You can find Boshnok through this door, then turn right, and through another door, then right again. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Get my partner out. Get your butt over here, buddy. Alright, through this door, turn right. So we have other doors that we might explore later. Knock ghoul kicker. Ghoul. Giant spider. Looks friendly, I guess, for a spider. That's giant. Alright, Bosch Knock, what you got for me, buddy? You. Welcome to the Academy. I'm Bosch Knock Ghoul Kicker. I handle the Academy's dealings with non member mages. Hemlock of the Baker's Nest sent us to retrieve some items he needs. Hemlock? It's been some time since I've seen him come in here personally. Blames it on his age. He really should just learn to teleport. Well, anyway, he is an old acquaintance of mine. Let me see that list of yours. Wait for him. Finding what hell I asked for? Of course. The academy's well stocked. Here you are. Thanks. Any chance you have anything to sell? One of you will swear to never use any item I sell you against the forces of Neverwinter. Okay, so we can either lie. It looks like a bluff check. Or we just tell the truth. Uh, or I do not swear to that, which means you probably won't sell to you. Alright, let's let's try to lie. I swear. Alright, bluff is successful. Ooh, nothing that bad of a bluff either. <laughs> Get back. Looking at stuff here. Oh yeah. The healer's kits. Those aren't bad. For those of you that don't know what healer's kits do, with the plus one. Uh, I think it heals a set amount. Plus one, the set amounts based on your heal stat. Um, so healer kits, the bigger the number, the more a buff you get, basically. Uh, one of those things that you'd want to use outside of combat, obviously. That's why healing potions are so useful. Doesn't have any magical gear, does have some potions. Uh, and I'll take a couple aid potions. We got a, I got a decent amount of cash. Let's actually pass that off to Kavas too. So that we each have one more hotkey that so I have it just in case. Bark skin as well. That can come in super handy. Oh matter of fact, let's actually one for each of us. Oh bull strength, cat's grace. Here moderate's kind of cheap. Let's actually grab a few of them. All these are the ones that buff stuff. I mean it's useful, but it's not particularly worrisome. I mean, we got plenty of blessed spells still going on for us. Bears and Durns and all that jazz. Oh, uh, Actually, I'm going to make sure that we both have some Cure Modders. I'll take two. He'll have three. He's, he's got better health than me anyway, and he's the one that takes the beating usually, because I have him up front. 
I feel pretty good about that. We got some bark skin, a couple of eight potions a piece. I didn't take any antidote or any cure disease. I don't think he has that. Uh, but the antidote one, that's that's pricey. And we can usually cure that stuff just by taking a knee or using a healer's kit, which I actually, now that I think about it, why don't we grab the better versions? You know, like I said, we get that heal skill up and that can you know, be super useful. All right. Hello, so we got everything we need there. Now that means we got what we needed. We can leave, but why would we want to do that? And we got all these pretty shiny doors to click on. Oh, so let's see what we got in here. Maybe we can pilfer some stuff from the academy. Oh yeah, we got a library. Anything in here? Uh, the zoom feature on this thing is always cranky as all hell. Um, nothing seems to light up except for the person in the corner. Corn. That's good boss. <laughs> for another, I thought I had something on the table. Priestly researcher. What do they got to say? Well Are you with the academy? No, I am not. Unless, of course, that means you're going to give me free stuff. But it doesn't appear that's the case. So, all right, what we get down here? This long hallway with another door at the end. It's unlocked. Another person who has a sword. Oh, he's the blacksmith, so that makes sense. All right, before we talk to him, is there anything from his shop that we can steal? Maybe this is where we're going to get some of our kicking weapons and stuff. Are you with the academy? Nope. Same stuff. Okay. Nothing of any use in there. Kind of the waste of hallway, guys. But whatever. Not everything has to have treasure, right? Alright. What do we got down this way? Let's see. This is the long hallway that led here. So we got door one and door two. What do you think there, Alex? Well, let's go to the right. Alright. What do we got in here now? Bigger library? Yeah, baby. Got any spells and scrolls and stuff that we can steal? It doesn't appear to be. Can't even get most of that way. Oh, I see a magician's workbench. Well, now that could come in handy. We'll peruse that, make sure there's not something we can steal from inside of it. Hmm. That's kind of a bust. It looks like treasure. Oh, scrolls and ties and all kinds of cool stuff. And a guard. So he's guarding the door. Alright, just work back. It says nothing. That's okay. That means we could craft items if we need to be. And we know we have crafting in this game, at least since they've given us essences and such. Oh, can guard. We go no further. The rest of the cabin is off limits. Oh, boo. Well, we know we can craft stuff. And we were going to build a character that had crafting ability, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, hold on, uh, glass door. What do we got here? Just another hallway. The big door at the end. Door at the end. Door over here. And a dwarf that says, Are you with the academy? we got a nice little shop in here. What the hell is that? Oh, a clay golem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's big. And it's green. And it's ugly. Can we talk to it? Apparently not. Hmm. No. Yes! Okay. My class, let's lead the way this time. Follow my lead. Yes! Stop it. I suppose so. We got a door there that lights up. These doors don't light up. I'm wondering if that just means you're never allowed in them. We got academy guards. Maybe they just need to get out of the way. Class just said something. Don't these people realize that just about anyone can get in here with a fake letter and start taking stuff? They are lost. Got that right, buddy. Yeah, go no further. That's you, man. You let me buy? No. Alright, there's one last room. I saw it. There it is. Right, please give me something. Ooh, I got a table and a desk, no less. Alright, table has. Alrighty. Oh boy, I wish I hadn't bought those things now. Oh well, exotic weaponry is what? Yeah, more of health for enchantments. 
Mm, nice. I'm gonna take that. Take all that. We'll sell the book that we don't need. Mystical card. Sweet. And while I know we have access to these things online, guys, I'd, I'd rather have the books, even if I sell them, and just go back to the vendor and talk to them, because it's a nice reminder. Whoa, whoa, what the hell yes. are you doing? You just relax your crack there, bro. I suppose so. Let's turn on the uh, AI here, turn that off. You get out of the room. Is that a bomb? What the hell is that? Looks like a mine. Oh, it's a sewer entrance. And a chest in a lockbox. Now we're talking. All right, first things first. Give me that sewer entrance party. What you got for me? Can you do it? Disable it. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of XP. Sewer entrance. Unlock that sewer entrance. This is probably how you get into here to steal their stuff if you're a thief. That's my guess. You'll break in through the sewers kind of thing. Lock, lock. Let's go to the chest first. Hmm. Give me some XP, baby. Oh, only 36 for that one. And lockbox. Another 36. Alright, now let's get back to my character. We turn the AI back on. What you got for me? A chain shirt. And some I'm nice not a armor. pack mule. Remove this burden. And some magic ammo. I'll take that. Alright, leather armor plus one. I can't use it. He has a chain shirt already. Now he's overweight. Uh, he had the magic or the, the bow, right? I don't think I even have anything for range. Which is kind of a mistake. I need to get me a crossbow, I think. Or a sling. But these are magic. I'll keep them on me for the time being. Yes. We'll upgrade his arrows. Probably sell some of these junky ones just to clear out my inventory a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, he has a changed shirt right now as well. Nothing different. Four armor, four max dex, which he's not even at yet, so we're still fine there. The reason this would be useful would be if we had higher dex, so if we get some, I don't know, belt of dexterity or whatever, agility, I suppose is what it's called, um, we could really capitalize on his higher dex. This would actually kind of screw me over in that, that plus one while nice. It's less than the shirt that he's wearing. Um, so I'm just keeping on him for now. But, having said that, um, like I said, it, it messes him up because it lowers his armor class. And it also messes him up because when I cast the mage armor spell, he only getting plus three extra armor because of the armor that's enchanted. We don't get the full effect, if you get my meaning. You still get the plus four, don't get me wrong but it, it negates the, the plus one from the armor because they don't stack. So... Follow my lead. Who the hell do you think you is, Kavox? You're not leading this troop. Get your ass back over here. Alright. So that's everything. Not bad. Let's go turn in this mission and maybe do a little exploring. Let's see what the master has to say to us now. To Beggar's Nest. And I'll cut this out until we get there because you guys don't need to see me sell stuff. So I'll see you back when we get to the masters. Alright, we are back and I have sold off some stuff. Uh, just to give you a little heads up, we get rid of the books that were useless, traded off a couple bless uh, potions over him and started hotkeying some things as well. Got rid of some of those arrows that we both had we didn't particularly need. One thing that I do need I to do that I keep so, noticing yes. is happening is my characters uh, have been doing stupid things when it comes to weapons. They keep swapping them out and I need to stop that. So what I'm going to do is lock the... Get that off. Uh, I'm going to switch the weapon switching off. That way I can just control them. And I do that anyway. Yeah, on that weapon switching. We're going to do that for everybody. And we'll save that so it never becomes a problem. Hopefully we can. I hate when they do that I and then stuff. So. Now I have, of course, the bag of Hemlock's items. So let's go talk to Hemlock here. Give him permission to get some money back. Oi, what can I, get you? I tell you, you have the items I asked for? Then you have changed my name to Stephen Fetchit. 
put Hemlock's items on the table. Whatever. That name suits you. Let me have them. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Now I have one last task for you. A final exam, if you will. What is it? I have a hidden wand in a chest in the sewers below the beggar's nest. A several and several false chests as well. Your job is to find the wand. Take this key for the chest it is in. You do not have to return to me once you do. Consider it your graduation, and the wand is a graduation gift. In the conversation. Let's see what I get for that. I didn't get anything for that. Oh, I wonder if being a pissy little petulant asshole means I don't get anything. <laughs> I should probably stop doing that then. Well, let's see. So we have our spells. Oh, and you see again we have cause fear, the buffs for our teeny, some other stuff, our you know, undead horde, so to speak. Um, but I'm going to do some more exploring real quick since we have a, a plenty of time, I think, to do one more area. And I don't like our spell choices because of where we're going. So first, let me tell you what we're going to do. I want to switch this out and grab the Melf's Acid Arrow. It's a nice damage spell. Uh, and up here, the Touch of Fatigue. While again, I am a Necro Lord, I want to make sure I have the cool stuff. Uh, I want to be able to do damage. So flares are always good spells. A decent duration that they last if they you know fail their fortitude save. Uh, they basically get a penalty to hit me. It's like a plus one to my armor class, basically. For, well, for both of our armor classes, I should say. Uh, Acid Splash is always a good choice for some damage, and it's not as much traditionally as Ray of Frost, which does two to five. But I'm going to explain to you why. Same with the reason for this here. Uh, first, let's take a knee so we get those spells back. We are going to go to the graveyard. Now, that's an area on the top of the map, and I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, and being that we're probably going to be fighting undead, cold doesn't work on them, right? Usually they're resistant to that, hence the reason for switching the acid splash, as well as the acid arrow. Cause of fear would probably do nothing against them as well. Same with the um, well, touch of fatigue. I could probably be immune to that, I'm guessing, as well. So, we're going to head that way. But first, on the way here, I saw this door. And I've probably done this before, but I keep having to prove it to myself. Uh, we are going to check to see if we can break inside. That's not possible. Oh, yeah, okay, so we've tried this before. So. Alright, that's fine. Hello, my I just wanted to make sure. It says we are exploring, but we are basically heading up to the gates of the Great Graveyard. That's just up yay. We got another door over here. It looks like it's unlocked. Where is this at? This is. Oh, gang hideout. We probably don't want to go inside the gang hideout. I'm guessing. I mean, we may check it out later, but. Uh, not until I get another level or two under my belt, maybe get a uh, more uh, tanky companion or another undead added to my list of things that we can do. But here's to the Great Graveyard. Again, I'm guessing that this is where you would go as a cleric type to complete missions, you know, like, oh, kill all the zombies or whatever in the, the Great Graveyard and bring me back the artifice or whatever. Because, again, this game has specific... Uh, paths for evil. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Specific path for each character type, and that's based on it being whether you're a cleric type, a fighter type, a, a wizard type, or a thief type, rogue type, excuse me. Uh, and if you don't fit in that category, you basically have to tell the game what to pick. So, what do we get? Well, first, let's look at the map. We are here, and we are near the crypts. That sounds like this building, yay. Oh, we have a fountain. Oh, gate to the north cemetery. It's got this stuff here, right? Oh, and a mausoleum. All right, so there's more stuff left than right, so let's actually swing this way and we'll swing back up to the, the crypts. And the crypts sound nasty for some reason. I don't know why, but they just do. And we do have stuff out here lighting up like a Christmas tree. We have a locked door. We'll see if we can pick that. Could be one of those where it's locked and we don't have any choice because... Um, Again, this could be like the cleric's mission where they give you a key, but we'll find out. We've got some grave markers. Quite a few of them, as a matter of fact. Weird that this building is unused. It's kind of odd. Uh, but we'll go look at these gravestones uh, first. And I say that because you never know when somebody's, you know, like great-grandpappy just passed away. And, oh, well, we always liked his favorite dagger, so we'll just leave it on the top of his grave. Because, you know, no one will come by and snatch that up. 
because you know I do. That's a gravestone. It says, No, you can't be resurrected, not yours. Now we have a giant spider. Is it just the one? Well, alright. Now it's not undead, but uh, first let's actually buff this up, right? Yeah, yeah, you sir, I'm gonna get that one and that one. But before you do that, you need to switch to a weapon. Oh, uh, I got a blunt weapon, so I'm gonna have him switch to the blade weapon. That way, if we're fighting an undead bastard, one of us is probably hitting for some decent damage. With us shutting off and saving the weapon switching, we shouldn't have to worry about that. First, I'll you're going to go attack to that. Size. You are going to attack that with the flare spell. See if you can get us a little bit of an edge. Yeah, I need to save. That's fine. Any more spiders coming out of the woodwork? Come on, guys. You got this. Come on, guys. You got this. Come on, guys. You totally got this. Any second now. There's a hit. There's a nicer hit. You got this, come on. Oh, we really need to get this guy's strength up just to help out with this melee stuff we're doing. Oh, that hurt. We got cousins. We gotta kill him. Come on. That's a nice, solid strike. One more, I'll put him up. Come on. Ah, don't kill my dude. Yeah, see, so we've been poisoned. And you can see it's starting to really take effect. Strength decrease. Mm. So what's Kavasa's strength looking yes. like now? Oh, five. Yeah, we're screwed. All right. What? Oh, uh, let's actually take and see if we can cure that. Yeah, sure enough, we can. There we go. Okay. But... Rebuffing back up again. For obvious die. reasons. Hmm. Not a bad little fight. Decent XP. So we're getting something for coming out here at least. A little more than one, so that was kind of nice. Didn't get mugged by like seven of them because man, that poison can really start to stack up. And if you're not a fighter type, go to bought it. All right, we all buffaged. Before we go back around the back end, we have more grave sites, things that we want to check out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grave over here. What you got for me? Neighbor the Nagger. His back met a dagger. He tried to stagger. Then he got power at work killed. Oh, that'll do it to you. <laughs> what does this one say? Grave. I'm not dead yet. Oh, let's get away from that grave. More. Let's go see what they have to say. Ooh, point of interest. XP for free. Ooh, I'm not doing that great, but still. Leave me the morning peace. Oh, fair enough. Or if there was a mission with her. What the hell? Oh, not just animals. Oh, I wonder if this is like a druid circle or something that you come over here. This was the gate to North Cemetery. It appeared that we can get through there. Can't talk to these guys, so uh, before we try to pick this lot, let's walk around the back. Make sure there's not anything in the trees or anything back here. Want to make sure we don't have another spider to fight or something. Cause I like me some XP. Anything? Oop, right there, I thought he was fighting something. Nothing. Nothing. No. Okay. Well, this is where the spider was, so that's fine rather not get jumped from that stuff anyway. Alright, where's our, uh... There we are. Alright, let's get, just get Kavas straight out the way here. I don't want to hear her sob story. Open box success. LLXP for that. So. Good work, Kavas. Alright, let's see what we got inside here. I want some treasure. Give me some stuff. We yeah. have. Uh, I should be pointing out something else here. Uh, uh, open lock. Success, obviously. You did great. You get the 20 automatically. The 9 is because it is open lock skill. Um, that's because we're not in battle. 
but DC 18 so far if I remember right open lock is one of those abilities that the only rogues can open locks if they're over 20 or maybe I'm thinking of disabled traps if any of you guys know let me know in the comments down below I can't remember off the top of my brain when this script smells with the odor of decayed bodies where the hell are we alright we got a, a door obviously in front of us but we got uh, like a U bend over here so let's actually go around the side first I don't want to have to worry about stuff sneaking up like that. If we were to go through the door. Alright, time Stop for some flare. Throw some uh, acid splash on and see what that gives us. Yes. As a boss, you need to run interference. We don't have the benefit. Yeah, he made his word to save. Uh, we don't have the benefit of um, sneak attack because it's undead. They're immune. So we might as well just have Kabas be able to take it. Why the arch was its eyebrows? Uh, it looks like he you know, enraged his friend. Let's see if we can get more of the same out of this guy. And these guys are good at making their fortitude saves. Dabra. Oh, that was a nice solid hit. Yeah. I hate to get dead. They don't understand a good knife in their ribs. <laughs> True that. Not much XP. But, you know, it's cool. We got any traps here? We got, okay, we got a couple of sarcophagi. Let's get Kavaz just in case. You just get fire trap. I'll take that. These two gold piece. Hmm. Let's hot key that uh, fire trap. Let's slap that over here so I don't forget about it. I'll let him keep the healer's kit. Uh, does he even have any healing skill? No. We'll let him keep one. You never know when he might just need it and I'm already like incapacitated or busy. Having it on them might be useful. Uh, but that minor fire trap. That, that, these are things we never seem to use. We gotta try to start using these things. I don't want to waste it on low uh, stuff, but if we find like a boss fight where we can kind of set it up in advance, that would be nice. Hello, my lead. Now remember, my buffs will wear off before his do. So if mine go, oop, do it, uh, go poof, well, well that sucks. Um, Seek your taste, my power! Oh, that was a nice one-two hit. Um, my, my bus wear off before his, you know, that makes perfect sense, but that just means we need to take a knee sooner. Uh, right, we're starting to get annoyed by the fact that we got bad guys everywhere. Let's get that pet out. Number one, one dead buddy. Nice shot. Front team. Hello, my lead. We got Mr. Kafka's. Go. We'll take that. Look at the map here, where are we going? Oh, looks like we're heading uh, that way, and then there's this one, and there's like a door, I think, back there. That's okay. Oop. Now you shall take my Stare at I'm not dropping anything but XP, so... Let's go over here, buddy. And I can't use my last spell on these guys because it heals them. Well, I suppose I could, but why would I want to heal the bad guy? Ew. So we're going to have to take me here for too long. Oop. Let me find another buddy to attack. Ooh, and a point of interest. That's some 50 XP. Alright, let's, uh, let's get Kavos. I'm going to disable this trap. Hopefully he can do it. What? All right, got away. I'm not a pack mule. Uh, Remove this ooh. bird. Chain mail. He can't use in a side. He can't use. Yes. So he's gonna be loaded up. That's okay. I suppose so. Why don't you follow me, bro? Follow my lead. We knew we were gonna come into this being heavy. We we're trying to get treasure anyway, so we'll we'll crawl along. No be. All right, do we got another trap? We sure do. All right, I'm gonna shut the AI off for this part. Make sure I don't do anything stupid like go up on him. Hmm. Disable success. Ooh, and it's locked too. And sadly, we don't get XP for that. Nothing to loot. I suppose. All right. So. Well, we need to take an E anyway. Oh, there's enemies nearby though. Um. 
going back up. Follow me. Hello, my lead. See if coming all the way back here is enough. Cause we really need to get our spells back. I don't like going into battle with a spell I can't even use, as is silly. Uh, there's nothing that I want to pick instead of it. I mean, there's magic missile, I suppose. But the, the fact that I can heal my pet if I really need to is still a reason to keep that. Ah, yeah, there are letting us rest out, Sydney. Alright. I'll meet me. Follow my lead. We'll get up here and we'll rebuff up real quick. And we'll check the sarcophagus. My little jade ring. Green glowing light for me. And again, I'm using a blunt weapon. He's using an edged or bladed weapon. So the fact that they're both magical, you do extra damage based on the damage type. So blunt, I'll get a plus one to my blunt. Bludgeoning, excuse me. And he'll get plus one to slashing, I think is what they call it. Slashing or piercing. I think his is slashing though. All right, we got some bad guys here. Oh, who my spells at? Yes. What? Oh, there we go. Just a little glitch. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. All right. Come on, you need your butt in here. I know you're slow, girl, but uh, I need your help here. Here. There we go. I'll take a flare. Stop it. Well, at least he's failed the fortitude save. Wait a minute. And the fort must have been enough to put him down, right? Oh, I lost another two. There it is. Okay. Let's say, how the hell did he die? So the flare doesn't do any damage. Alright, what do we got in here? Anything? A little bit of something. A little bit of something. Alright, here. Altar. Let's go touch it. And get us lots of loot and scrolls. Toxicity's laughter. True strike I can't use. Remember, this is divination. Or necro, so we don't get the divine stuff. And we'll eventually lose illusion. So we're specifically not picking those. Uh, we already have that one scribe, so I'll just hot key that. Let's give this to Kavas because he's going to work on use magic device eventually. Matter of fact, let's just start hotkeying these things so that when he does have the ability to cast them, we will know so. Right? Because red means you can't use them. I suppose so. Ooh, we got a point of interest. I didn't even notice that. Another 50 XP. Yeah, baby. We're clipping right along. Alright, now let's see. Where are we? The red bottom. So I guess we gotta go all the way back around. By then, our spells will probably wear off. We want to find the right boss. No, I don't, don't want to get mugged without my buddy near me. That would be bad. And we got that. And there's our doorway. Let's stop here and wait for Kavas to catch up. Assuming we don't get lost on the way. going over weight. One of the things I always wish that they would include is even if it's a lesser bag of holding for the wizard types, because you know they don't emphasize strength. Be like the best graduation gift for a wizard I can think of. Here you go. We know you're a wuss, so... Well, we did go that way already. Yeah, yeah, that's where that fight, first fight was. And another point of interest. Uh, let's see here. Come on, we got any trappies over here? You tell me, won't you, Kavash? Sure you would. Let's uh, I'm on it. Stay your ground. I don't want to get too close to this stuff. Alchemical sword. Oh, there's a trap. Yeah, see? You can do it, buddy. Have faith. Boom. XP. Right, that was a weak trap, too. Nice. And it's locked. What we got from there? Success. Potions and bark skin. Now we're talking. Getting some of that good treasure. I'll let him keep that stuff. We'll turn the AI back on and 
put everyone back on follow. Well, actually, first, we should probably take a knee because we're probably going to be a bad guy as well. Rebuff up since the moves are damn slow. Alright, Colossus. I'm going away, bro. Alright, now I'm going to buff myself. Boss. My armor's not doing that bad. I mean, 17's not stellar, I grant you. But, could be a lot worse. And he is rocking a 22, so, you know, he's, like I said, he's our little tanky minion. Alright, let's uh, put the AI on hold. Yes! Come here, boss. Ooh, yep, okay, there's a bad guy. To the fight! Now! I'll learn you twice over! Ah, by the archwizard's eyebrows! Dabra. Oh, that worked well. Good work, gas buddy. Alright, again. Stay right here, no Everybody matter what. Sit your butt tight. We have a trap to disarm. And that's our sarcophagus, and it looks like that's it. Yep, yep, not bad. And a great sword. Yeah, this is probably for your cleric types. They can get themselves some decent weapons and some decent armor. Be a good way to get them up into the swing of things. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, he can't use any of that stuff and he's majorly overweight, so eventually we'll go sell stuff. But not right now. We can walk all slow like, I don't mind. That was everything in this area. So, out we go. Let's see how we do on time. Yeah, we're probably a little over with editing and such. It may get down to about a half an hour, so we should probably uh, take a knee and save over here. Let's do that. Everybody get all jiggy with it. And to remind myself that we're going in this direction, I'm going to take a step that way. Alright, so, the next place we would hit would be this crypt, and of course still checking our little tombstones on the way. Uh, but with that, my name is Brother Newton. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you guys think so far, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.